Good morning, happy Tuesday. All right, so today our verse is on Jehovah Nisi, which is the Lord is my banner. This is one of my favorite names of God. I love this um, name. I pray it often because when you are human, <laughs> like we all are, we face struggles and difficulties and battles every day. And God has guaranteed us that he is going to ride into battle first. And I love that. So um, let's read our verse. It's Deuteronomy 20 verse, um, what verse was it? Uh, three and four. Sorry. I had to remind myself. Um, he shall say, hear Israel. Today you are going into battle against your enemies. Do not be faint-hearted or afraid. Do not panic or be terrified by them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. And I just imagine, you know, when it, when they used to battle, you know, head-to-head -head combat, the the person carrying the banner, the, the guy on the horse that's at the front of the line, who carries the flag, he carries the banner, he's the first person to ride into battle, and he's the he's the one that's in the most danger. And um, so that's how I imagine this, is God is my banner, is he is going to ride into battle before us. He's going to be the first one holding that banner, going into battle for us, and fighting for us. And you know, it's not just against the the spiritual realm of battle but also in our daily struggles and you know god he keeps score of all the wrongs that are done to you so that you don't have to and he's going to right those wrongs you know i have so many there have been so many times in my life where i've been hurt by people and i i've wanted to hold on to anger and bitterness but God says, let that go. Rest in his peace, knowing that he's going to fight that battle for you and you don't have to. There's been times that people have said ugly, horrible, hateful, untrue things about me on social media. Because when you own a business and you get an upset customer, the first thing they do now is hit social media. And um, I've you know, been in business for 31 years at my gym. And of course, we've had some upset customers through the years. And it's only getting worse. And, you know, when I see something like that and they're on social and they're they're putting untrue statements out there, it just goes all over me. And I, my first instinct is to respond and want to defend myself. But God holds me back and he reminds me, don't worry. I have you. I've already got your back for you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to get angry. You don't have to respond. You don't have to do anything. Just let me handle it. I am your banner, and I am going to fight this battle for you. I keep track, and I keep score, and right your wrongs. And knowing that, it gives me peace, and I can rest easy because God has it. So, and the same goes for, you know, if you're hurt by someone, um, let go of that bitterness. Learn to forgive um, pray for a heart to forgive if you don't feel like you can. I know there have been so many times in my life that I've had to pray, God, help me forgive. Um, and remember, forgiveness doesn't always mean reconciliation. And forgiveness doesn't always mean that you aren't going to be hurt or triggered by something that happens because there is forgiveness of the act and there is forgiveness of the results. And the forgiveness of the results tend to take longer. So don't beat yourself up over that either. But know that God is fighting that battle for you and you can let go of that. And I pray that you do. Um, it's hard. <laughs> I struggle with it all the time. Um, so anyway, God is our banner. I hope that you guys have been encouraged by this message this morning. I hope that you will um, let go and let God. Y'all have a great day.